Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, joined by the Akamara. And all these f***ing loiterers. And this is TCG Are Card Shop Simulator. Are they open yet? It's not 8am yet. Are they open yet? Well, we will be if you jerk stop knocking over all my boxes that I took such a so careful amount of time to put down. They don't knock the boxes over, but you do. So that's all your fault. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Still gonna blame them for it. Okay. <sighs> we need one, two, three. Three boxes. Yeah. Have three. you checked your reviews? Uh, what reviews? Uh, there should be reviews. Yeah, the little stars. Oh, when was that added? I love the store, no smell at all. But he only gave me four stars. What the flip? What could we have improved on? Also, I did notice that uh, when we started the day, I lost $50. So I guess the events stick. And you are right that it is per table. Um, I think. Let's go back to a standard tournament format so I don't have to pay the freaking $50 anymore. Okay, anyway. Um, all right. Yeah, we also sold a bunch of card packs after that little price reduction I did. So, let's see. Uh, let's buy four boxes of cards as well. Or the card packs. That's almost all of my money. That's fine, you'll make it back. Yeah. Yep, this is true. Can't make money without spending money or whatever. Although I still need to open card packs too. I guess I opened too early. I should have done the whole thing. But at least your new lesbian girlfriend is here. Yay! <laughs> I guess calling her your lesbian girlfriend is redundant. Wow, she just bought a crap load of packs too. She could be straight. But still your girlfriend. A, I could be having a guy day. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Agent 47 over there is going to have to wait a minute while I restock the shelves. God. I like the sound of him hitting the just... Bu -bu 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 I did open too early. For some reason, I didn't think I'd, I had so much to do already. All right. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't seem like the customers get too impatient. Although maybe there's a hidden, like, there can only be so many customers in your store kind of thing. And so if you don't check people out, they're just gonna stand there forever and not give you any money. God, I really need the double boxes of these. It probably also saves on shipping costs. I haven't paid that close attention to that but I think the shipping cost is based on how many items you are buying so buying one 64 pack is going to be less shipping than two 32 packs you know mm -hmm. have you noticed if that's true I haven't but I also make thousands of dollars a day so don't listen to me. Akamura what no you know what? Ruin doesn't want to hear that because she's not taking a cut of what you are making. Yeah, that's her problem. Uh, it's going to be my problem is who that's it's going to be. That's her problem. All right. Excuse me, ma'am. You're cute, but I need to open cards. I know. It's a wonderful sound. It sounds like you're trying to slurp soup from the opposite side of the bowl. Or the way Nisi drinks out of her water fountain. Have you ever seen a slow-mo video of a cat drinking water? Have you seen a slow-mo video of a dog drinking water? I have. It's freaking weird and disturbing. Okay. I uh, don't need that anymore. Huck that into the street. Okay. Hold on, ma'am. Thank you for the one card you bought. Hmm. Well, 
once we have a breather, I guess I can restock the card table. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe you were right about the card packs being three dollars. It doesn't... I may have just gotten lucky for a second there with how much people were spending on the card packs. Well, don't let me backseat you. Oh, I know, but... I don't know. Boxes seem to be doing a lot better for us than individual card packs. So it really seems like the best thing for me to do is, well, whatever. Okay. I so want these cards. I know, they're cute. Like, at least the Fox one and the Mooflin or whatever his name is. I haven't, like, picked out my absolute favorite Boyos, but I know I have some that I like better than others. I like the Pigos. You just like Pigos. I'm like surprised. Pigos. I'm surprised you don't have more stuffed Pigos. I mean, where would I put them? <laughs> oh, there's me! That? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Akamura. That is definitely Akamura that's at Kinamura. like 17. I met you when you were 16, and that is very accurate. Her hair is a little shorter than yours was back then, but... Yep. And she's not here making ribald jokes constantly. But other than that... We don't know that. We can't hear her. <laughs> Maybe she's not doing it because she knows we're on YouTube and she doesn't want to get me demonetized. Teen Goofa would not be that considerate. Absolutely not. You know, actually, <laughs> you know what? Yes. I don't think I've ever made public one of the most uh, ribald things you said to me on our first meeting, and I kind of don't uh, want to. Yeah, but, don't. uh, boy, you were not shy about your intentions back then. Nope. All right. Uh, I wanted in the pyro nest. Okay. <laughs> Which, given your age, was extremely dangerous. Was it? <laughs> yes. I think between the two of us, more people would try to warn you away from me. Well, you weren't outwardly a hot mess to me. You were a mess, but not a hot mess. Do you want to maybe take your sunglasses off since we're indoors? I or? wear my sunglasses indoors so I can, so I can prevent the glare from gaming all night. My retinas are so fucked I can't see shit. I lost the like <laughs> You get it. You you get it. Wait, what the hell is he wearing on his feet? Really? <laughs> nice pedicure. All right. Let me Ugh. That's actually not even what I thought it was. I thought he was wearing sneakers from this angle. But uh that is Suit so and much sandals worse. Look. Suit and sandals. I need to go play The Sims and make some offensive characters. It makes Mark's outfit here look way better. Yeah, Mark's looking feel... positively classy. Mark just had a shiver run down his <laughs> spine wherever he is as we're recording right now. And he <laughs> doesn't know why. You'll have to point him to these episodes. I don't think he's watching this usually. I think if we say his name three times, it summons him. Like Beetlejuice? Yes. Have you ever seen Beetlejuice? Nope. Our boss was talking about how she was going to watch the new Beetlejuice that came out. And uh, I still have not seen the even the first one as an adult. I was not allowed to watch anything. Right. Well, we've been over that, but see, sometimes I forget that I've known you your entire adult life. Yep, the whole thing. And most of what you have seen over the years has been in that context. Yep. Like, you didn't have much of a pop culture life before 
we got together. God, we've been together forever. Yep. Kids movies were seen as too childish from when I was 10. That's... Kids movies are childish. That's in the freaking title. I know. Like, but like it was seen as too childish when I was 10. <sighs> well, hey, it's me again. Yep, you're back. Like your parents thought they were too childish? Yep. Why should they care? <laughs> what do they want you to watch? War and Peace? West Wing. What? That's such a dumb choice for a 10-year-old. They wanted to watch West Wing all the damn time. I'm just just staring at you. It's because I'm cute. Aw, oh, she even fluttered her eyelashes at me. Well, I don't want her to wait here forever. Let's see if I can kick the others out so... No, it's fine. Let no. her watch. She was here waiting for... I a... was watching! <laughs> I'm sorry. Why won't you let me have fun? <laughs> Why am I not allowed to have fun in the way I want to have fun? Fine, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to play with Mark. Well, it seems she's enjoying herself now, especially since I'm getting a nose full of odor, so... Ew. At least, uh, at least she's enjoying herself over there with Mark. You smell like a gym bag that's been fished out of the Thames. <laughs> I can't remember if I mentioned it the last time, but this dude feels like he's got a little Kevin Bacon kind of an appearance on him. Older Kevin Bacon. Holy crap, he bought so much stuff. I didn't even notice. He's got Kevin Bacon money. Uh, $79 worth. Hell yeah. Was that my new record? No, you've hit 100 at one point, I think. In this run? I think so. I didn't think I had, but maybe. Um, if eagle-eyed viewers know the record, please post it below. More comment engagement. Yeah, I think you're right, Akamura. We need a third table here soon because... Yeah, people are waiting for yeah. table space. I probably cut in afterward, but this guy was waiting at the same time. We basically had four players and two waiting all at the same time. Oh, he's heading over there to wait again, too. Yeah, we yeah. definitely need a new table here. But I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. Since they bought so much crap today. Thank you. Uh. Whoa! Sorry, lady. Alright. <laughs> I need to do better about that. I always had trouble with that in real oh life. Oh my god. That I would verbalize things like, oh crap, I did something wrong. And you don't wanna. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, he gave exact, babe. Uh, okay, I think that's my new record for this run. $90. I should keep a chart somewhere about that. Did you just kick over my box? Get out of here. I don't care that you just spent $90. Alright. So, if I buy a new play table, thing is, with my current layout, I don't think I can fit another play table here unless I do one here, I guess? Like, right in the center of the floor? But I don't think that'll look very good. So, I guess instead, I'll just buy four boxes of each thing. And this should be plenty. And I still have, like, half my money left. So I'm going to buy the license to do those now, too. See, the quantity count, or the price, the wholesale price between the card box 4 and card box 8 is, a, is the same unit price. So it doesn't matter which yep. one of those I buy. Other than, it, I guess, saving on shipping. Yep, saving on shipping and takes up less space overall. This game is so much more delight- whoops. Delightful to me than Supermarket Simulator. But it's only because of the items being sold. Like, mechanically, the games are very, very similar. I'm sure I talked about that in the last session. I don't really mean to keep harping on the same things, but... It's just remarkable. Yes. I really like these games. 
if they continue to be relatively polished, I'd like to explore this concept more. There was another one that I recently saw for sale that I'm not interested in buying, but I'm just glad to see more of these games existing, where it's a storage uh, simulator, not simulating storage. Um, what is it? Like the guys who buy storage units from auction? Oh. Uh, yeah, a storage auction simulator. Yeah, and then... Yeah, you don't know what's inside, so you buy the storage unit, and then sometimes you get trash, and sometimes you get treasure. Sometimes you get a body. Right. Sometimes so... you get two bodies. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, I don't know if I'll ever do that one on the channel unless there's some, uh, some demand for it, but Pigney, were you the one who was showing me some of the real Pokemon cards of these because someone showed me a screenshot of a Pokemon card. And it was a full art without a border. Because I remember I commented on that the last time we played this. That I found that interesting that there are full art cards with no borders. I don't no think I showed it to you, but I think I made you aware that they exist. Maybe I saw it on the one guy, the video that you were watching, the should I keep it sealed guy. Yes, I like that guy. I don't think he needs promotion, but like. I mean, you can go ahead and draw. We didn't should last I time, but... Should I open it, or should I keep it sealed? Yeah, who's the... What's the channel, since we're referencing um, it anyway? Just that. That's literally the channel to, name? You should be able to find it with the jingle, because they're in every oh. video. My favorite thing is, like, when he opens something, and, like, depending on how shit the pull is, <laughs> he'll have different end jingles. Like, when he, like, makes a little bit of money back, it's like, wow, he didn't really do too bad. Or when it's, like, really bad, it's like, oh, no, you should have kept it sealed. And then the disappointing last card will have a quip for him. Like, why do you do this? <laughs> you may as well give the name of the channel since I we... don't, re I don't remember it off the top of my head, and I don't want to open my laptop to find it. Like, I promise you... you'll be able to find it. Wait, you binged, like... I binged them. Dozens upon dozens of those videos. Every single you... one. Don't remember the name of the channel? Nope. That's incredible. Is it? Your brain or is, is it sad. Unique as hell. Is it? <laughs> yes. I think that's pretty common. Is it? Especially among people with the uh, ad hood. <laughs> people with ADHD have now unlocked a new way to say that. <laughs> Uh, our mod, Crowbeak, was talking with me about the ad HUD, and I mentioned to her how intense of a face you got when you did a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, yeah. I had to focus. Yeah, I, I hadn't encountered that face of yours. I mean, obviously, it was the first time I had seen you do it, and, like, you went, like... F nice. You as, went, as I like to say, I went hard in the paint. Yes, because I I knew you to be smiley and ha and you have your resting like weird face, bitch face. See, no, you don't have a resting bitch yes, face. Yes, I do. No, it's more like a resting apathy face. I don't consider that bitchy. I can see how some would consider it bitchy. Um. But no, you just look like your mind is always a million miles away. Do I have nobody in my store? Is this because I'm constantly blathering? Get in my... Oh, hi, ma'am. Didn't mean to scream in your face. You're cute. Um, Get in my business! So, but yeah, I was used to your face. And then we got that foxy jigsaw puzzle for you. And holy crap, you got a table... And you plunked the puzzle down and opened it up, and you saw the pile of jigsaw pieces, 
and then your face became the most intense, concentrating, single focus face I have ever seen in my life. It made a noise. The like, entire phew. apartment could have burned down around you, and you would not have noticed. Don't care, puzzle. Yeah, I get real autistic about puzzles. <laughs> that dude's jacket stained or is that just because I'm too far away? Oh, because I was too far away. Oh, God. He smells bad. I know. My face is all up in his grill. He I smells like if Worcestershire sauce was left in a 20-year time capsule. And he's with someone who smells just as bad, apparently. Ugh. Um, I wonder, I wonder if they're going to increase the graphic fidelity of this game and uh, Supermarket Simulator, for that matter. Like, both the games... I mean, you don't need perfect graphics, but the amount of draw-in texture is just so, oops, so pervasive. Like, there's such a distinct line. See that? When the texture pops in. Kind of? Really? That's only kind of to you? Well, don't forget I'm looking at the preview. Oh... Uh, Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, oh, the OBS version's a little yeah. tinier, uh, but... Sometimes Hot Chick in the white button-down with the red hair, if you go back, her shirt will start clipping to her back. Right. So it looks a little more open. Well, and that's what I'm saying. I wonder if they'll ever fix that, or if it's some sort of weird problem with the... Hey, you're back. Hi! With the way the... Graphics engine are wow, you cannot get I'm outside just of that guy. Stand in the sky. Yeah. She's also not here. walking perfectly upright, which is I'm also kind of a you here. thing. <laughs> oh, too busy looking at you and not checking out the customers. Because I'm cute. Yes, because you're cute. Alright, what are we getting today, me? I absolutely would have flirted with you in this environment, and I would have been very awkward about it because I would not know how to flirt with a customer. It's delicate art, because if you flirt too hard, then you're just gonna, the customer's just gonna run. Yes, especially since at that time, I, f I functioned entirely on a script when it came to interacting with people. That is not true with me. You were weird with me. I was weird with you, but with... You weren't listening, because I said, like, oh. with people at counters, with cashiers. Oh, at counters. Okay. Why? Just because I was uncomfortable in the situation. Like, I wore one of my Nine Inch Nail shirts into Half Price Books one time, and I felt so bad for the cashier, because <laughs> he saw it, and he's like, oh, hey, Pretty Hate Machine. And I'm like, yeah, it's a good album. And he's like, yes, it is. You know, I saw Nine Inch Nails at Lollapalooza, and I had a little shirt with the nin on it, and I'm like, that's cool. And uh, I, I just, like, clammed up on him, and he probably thought I thought he was boring. But, sir, if by some serendipity you ever say this, I promise that was a cool story. I was just autistic as hell. And you just don't know how to deal with, like, customer small talk? It's, I don't know how to deal with an unexpected situation. I see. Like, I'm so sorry, sir, but that was a really interesting anecdote. And it was so interesting it shut down your language center? No, I just didn't know how to interact with an unexpected situation, which I shut see. down my language center. Hmm... I'm trying to think of the equivalent with that for me. I mean, I guess to an extent I have that, but I'm also used to talking for a living now, so it's not as bad for me. Uh, Nisi, what in God's name are you doing over there? Oh my God, our cat's insane. Um, is she upside down? Not anymore. My God. All right, <laughs> anyway... Sorry, I just got a text from my day job, which I'm not going to... Can you come in on thirds, even though you were in this morning? No. Wow. You, you're you sick. You've already even called off. Yeah, I preemptively called <laughs> off because I feel like a pile of buttholes tied together. Wow, that night shift really did not want to lose you. Nope. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm the same way to an extent. I just don't have the shutdown exactly. But... Well, like, the thing is, like, I shut down like that and I look like such an asshole. Yeah. I mean, n not, yeah, you're an asshole. Just, I, I understand what you mean. Because like, that... If I'm gonna be a douche to someone, I want to be a douche intentionally, you know? Yes. And you're good at it when you... <laughs> When that's your oh, goal. I'm real good at it. <laughs> um, yeah, like, no, I don't know. Like, you did your best when we were at that meeting in Columbus recently for our other day job. Yes. Um, but there was a lot of awkwardness there. I don't know if you noticed, but the one executive. So when the Akamura meets somebody that she absolutely doesn't know and kind of doesn't know what to do about it, she'll do almost a Japanese bow. <laughs> Um, no, not, I, I do that for, like, customers and stuff. I yeah, do that a it's, lot. Basically, she doesn't just nod her head. She'll bow at the waist somewhat down. And one of the executives, like, she did that to one of the executives, and the executive did that back to her with a weird little smirk. And my my fiance instinct or whatever kicked in but there was nothing he did wrong it was just probably weird for him too because probably no one ever did that to him before and yeah i'm i'm overly polite i had to strangers a feeling you had missed that when it happened well i didn't see it yeah that's what i mean um yeah I'm sure he thought it was weirdly charming. Well, you're charming, so that probably does help, yes. It'd be different if I do it, since I try to take... Since I try to present a vibe of, you know, confidence, not arrogance. I'm not confident enough to be arrogant, but I try to at least exude more confidence than I usually feel in situations like that. Yeah, well, like... Another thing is like... I'm sorry, you said that was cheap. Well then, we're going back up to $3, you asshole. Go on. Like, if I come across as overly polite, then it adds more gravitas to when I turn into a dick. This is true. It's always easier to move back toward the center if you are an extreme personality. We had a... Uh, manager back in oh hey you're back yep. we had a manager in walmart who his philosophy was in like a lion so he had this extremely loud intense personality and he pissed off a lot of people um but i didn't take it mainly because i was starting to be in that state where i just didn't give a shit anymore and so whether the personality is nice or not or loud or not, it just didn't make a difference to me. It's like, just tell me what I need to do, I'll go do it. And so he was able to come in that hard and then come back a little bit and be nicer. Because it's easier to do it that way than to come in super, 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 super nice and then have to then also try to become more strict. Because you wouldn't have the respect. Or so, so it goes. I don't know if that's true i'm just saying that's the mentality behind that kind of thing yeah and like so in high school there was a gamers club and i would go there and i'd be surrounded by strangers so i would be like unfailingly polite amura <laughs> and like after a while i started getting a little comfortable and then I said my first fuck word, and people <laughs> were shocked. Sorry, which job was this? Uh, not a job, but um, the gamers club at oh, our gamers old club, high right. school. Yes. Sorry, the cat was... I had to spook her. But, um... Yeah, she's so wanting to play. I would play games and be, you know, small and polite and this little bunny rabbit in the corner like, please don't fucking eat me. And then I think we were playing... Couldn't stand me staring at you too. It huh? was like console day and I think we were playing like Smash or something. 
and I always play Sheik, and I'm like playing, and I got knocked off, and I'm like, son of a fucking bitch. And like, like three people turn their heads over, like, I've never heard you swear before. <laughs> Little did they know how, my, how much of a potty mouth you are. Oh, God, yeah, I am a filth fountain. <laughs> well, we're going to refill your fountain in tomorrow's episode. I what does Im- that mean? I immediately what don't like- What are you going to do? The way that entire I'm metaphor I'm calling went. the police. So that'll do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I, we will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Bye. Up there okay. your hey, girl. Yeah, she's ripped the shit out of oh. her sleeve on three frames. Too bad we're closed. Hate to see her go, but you love to watch her walk away. Oh, you can see her shirt clip when she turns. God, those jeans are painted on. Yeah, they are. <laughs>